Hi and hello guys, today in this video, we will see as to how we can dual boot Fideos and Windows on a PC. Before you dismiss this as yet another Fideos video, guess what? By following the steps that I am going to show, you can have both Google Sync and Google Play Store activated and enabled. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first step in this process is to download the required Fideos image. Head over to the link in the description of this video to grab a copy of the OS. The website is in Chinese. You have two options, either you can install a translator plugin, or the easy way is to move your mouse over the different options. When the mouse is over one of the options, you see a link with an IMGXZ extension appear on the lower left corner of your browser. This is the link that you would need to click on to download a copy of the Fideos image. After downloading the image, you need a compression software like WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip the compressed image file. Right-click on the downloaded compressed file and choose to unzip, using your favorite compression software. After the file is decompressed, you will end up with a .img file that is almost 6 GB large. This file is now ready to be burned onto a flash driver USB thumb drive. We need a couple of software for writing the Fideos image on the flash drive. I would recommend you to use the South Dakota Formatter software to format the flash drive first, before writing the OS image. Then after formatting the drive, you could use either Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager to write the image on the flash drive. Either of them would do the job but I will leave it to your preference. In this case, I am using the Win32 Imager to write the image. After the image is written successfully, you will be bombarded with multiple message boxes with format and cancel options. Please choose cancel for all of them. These are the Fideos partitions that have been written on the flash drive. Before we proceed further, we need to create a partition on the hard disk for housing the Fideos. On the search bar at the bottom, type disk or partition. You will see an option called Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Please click on that. Now depending upon the configuration of your computer, it will take some time for the disks to be refreshed and listed. Based on how you have configured the windows, your EFI partition could be the first partition or the second one. Please do not touch that for now. Choose some other partition with adequate space. Preferably, this should be a partition other than the one that has your windows. Right-click on the partition of your choice and select the option to shrink some space. In the window that pops up, enter the amount of space that you need to shrink. Fideos needs a minimum of 20 GB of free space. Ideally, I would suggest to create about 23 GB free space, give or take. The value here is in MB, so you should multiply by the required GB by 1000, and then enter that value here. After that, click on the shrink button. Now you will have a partition that says unallocated space. Right click on that and choose new simple volume. Keep clicking on the next button, until you reach this part. Make sure to have the format option selected, and the file system should be NTFS. To fasten the formatting process, I would suggest you to have the quick format option selected. Now click next and finally finish. At the end of this process, you should have a partition created. Now we can shut down the computer and boot from the flash drive with the Fideos. Before you start with the installation process, just make sure that the secure boot is turned off in the BIOS settings. Key to boot from USB differs from one computer brand to another, make sure to figure out the correct key, and press it multiple times, until you get to the boot options. In this list, you should see the name of your flash drive, prefixed with UEFI. Please select that. In the next window, select Fideos Image A Type. Now you will be presented with the Fideos logo, and subsequently the welcome screen. In this screen, choose the language and the keyboard option as per your preference and proceed further. In the next screen click on the installer option on the left. Next, you can choose multi-boot installation for dual booting and proceed further. 
For the FIDEO's target partition, click on the drop-down menu and choose the partition that you just created. The EFI partition should be automatically set by the installer software. Start the installation process by clicking on the Install button. The installation process will take a while and at the end, you should see a message that says, Installation completed. Now, click on the shutdown option and unplug your flash drive from your computer. You can turn on your computer once again to complete the setup process. Fideos Grub looks minimal with a Windows logo and the Fideos logo. In case, if you have Linux also installed, then you will see a Linux logo also on this screen. If you do not make a selection, the Fideos will boot by default. In the next screen, choose Fideos Dual Boot A option. Once again, you will be prompted with an option to select your language and keyboard. At this point, while holding the Ctrl and Alt key on your keyboard, press F2. If you are working on a laptop with function keys, you would want to simultaneously press the function key as well. This will now take you to the console window. The default user login is Kronos, I repeat, C-H-R-O-N-O-S. There is no need to enter a password. After logging in type sudo, S-U. We need permission to read and write, so the command to do that is, sudo, hyphen, o, remount, comma, rw, forward slash, and then press the enter or return key. Next you need to enter cd etc. The config file needs to be modified now. To do that, enter sudo nano chrome underscore dev dot conf. In the configuration file, you need to enable the Google account and comment out FIDE. Also, you need to make changes to enable the Play Store. I will leave the contents of the configuration file as it should be in the description of this video. After modifying the file, press Ctrl X and then Y to save and exit. Now, head back to the graphical user interface by simultaneously pressing on the Ctrl, Alt and F1 keys. Proceed further and either connect to Internet either using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Scroll through the terms and conditions and then choose to agree and continue. You cannot skip signing up for a fight account, but hold on before you go ballistic. After creating and signing and using the Fight account, you will get an option to just use the Google account instead of the Fight account. Choose, I prefer Google and click on Next. You can now sign in using your Google account. Proceeding further, unselect both the options and click on Get Started. As you can now see, all my Google searches have been synchronized. Our next agenda is to install the Google applications. Open the app draw and open the Fight App Store. In that, search for GAPPS. and then install the Configure Open Gaps application. To permit the installation, open Settings app, click on the Apps option and then choose Manage Android Preferences, agree the agreement and choose Launch. Now, head back and choose to open the GAPS app.
In the application, choose the Install option. Once again click Install and select OK. This process will take close to 20 minutes. You can take a small coffee break and return back. After a while, you can see that the process is completed. Now choose the Reboot Now option. After rebooting, you will still not find the Play Store. Access the console using the Ctrl Alt and F2 key and open the configuration file like before. Now, remove the hash symbol that you earlier added ahead of the fight option. After making the changes, come back again to the user interface and reboot. Upon rebooting, you should have the Play Store. Let me quickly install YouTube and do a test run. As you can see, YouTube works flawlessly. Also, the Play Store has an option to install Kodi. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. I hope that you find this video really useful. Thanks for watching, take care and stay safe.